Hello everyone, this is Ethan with Snakecraft Hosting, and today I'm going to show you the basics of setting up your BeamMP server on Snakecraft Hosting. I'd first like to start out with our panel features. We offer direct access to your files. You can easily click on a text file and you can edit and then save it. So you don't have to download and re-upload the same file. Makes it a lot easier to do quick changes on the fly. Databases, each server has one database free. Schedules, you can create a schedule based off of cron. You can set like automatic backups or restarts, send commands, various different things. Subusers, you can add a user. There is many different permissions and get into the nitty gritty. For example, you can have it so one person can just stop the server just in case there's like a mod around it or something like that. Backups, there's one free backup with each server. You can easily download or restore right from the panel. It's really easy. Network, this is just going to be your ports. Startup tab is pretty important for BeamMP servers. This is where a lot of settings are that most people want to change. You can change the server name to anything you'd like. In this example, I have it's Ethan HD server, and then powered by Snakecraft Hosting. That's the default. You can always remove it if you'd like. Max players. So that's how many players are allowed into the server. Then private, if you have it set to false, that means the server will show up in the server list. Otherwise, if it's set to true, you'll have to direct connect to it. Max cars, this is a max of three cars per player. You can set this all the way up to, I believe, 20. Then you have map. This will be important for a later video and how to set your uh, custom map that you downloaded. Then you won't want to really touch match unless you contact support and we tell you to switch it. And description, this is just the description when you click on the server. That's just the default. And settings, this is uh, for SFTP, the server name for our panel. Reinstall and then debug info, which you may need if you contact our support. And activity, this just shows the uh, activity what's been done on the server this is for transparency and accountability see like staff members viewing it this is what you'll see when you click on your server for the first time after setting your password to log into the control panel pretty straightforward here the address is what you'd use to direct connect if you need to uptime shows the server uptime then CPU, memory, disk, and the network. Those are all just stats for when the server is running. This is pretty useful so you can see like if there's a memory issue, like a, a mod using too much memory. Makes it easier to troubleshoot. But let's actually turn on the server. And now it says the authenticated session has resumed and that we're on the BeamMP server list and everything started successfully. So everything is okay. From here, there are a few commands they can type into the console for basic moderation. So we'll hit help and this displays all the uh, various commands that you can use. So for example, kick, name, then the reason. So we'll kick player one, two, three for the reason that ban from server. Okay, and then that'll kick player one, two, three and it'll say ban from server. Obviously it's just a kick, so they're not actually banned. But here are the basic commands and the syntax of how to run them. For example, clear is a basic one. Just clear as a console. Now the console is still here. Um, just since nobody's joined it, nothing's happened. Uh, there's nothing since we cleared it. So we can type in list to show that it's still there. This can be useful if you're trying to like troubleshoot like a mod issue or if there's certain players that just keep on typing a lot maybe. Hopefully that makes a little bit more sense on how to use our console and the basics of the BeamMP server. In our next video we'll be going over how to install mods and maps which is done in the files tab. This is where you can get a lot more in depth 
when it comes to mods, maps, and various other things. Alright, I hope this tutorial was helpful in getting your BeamMP server started for the very first time. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can open a ticket at my.snakecrafthosting.com or open a ticket in the Discord server in just a few clicks. We hope to see you around. Thank you for watching.